It is a fairly sunny morning and I've decided to get to downtown so that I can buy some acrylic paints for a paint project that I have today. So I got to this particular shop that I usually like to buy my paints from because the prices are friendly and they have assorted paint colors as you can see. One other thing that I like particularly about this shop is that they give you measurements for what you have. For example, you want measurements for 30, I mean 300 shillings, you'll get it. If you want a full gallon, you'll still get that. So for me today, I need this particular one liter bottle that you see this guy pouring into. This one goes for 300 shillings and then I also need a gallon. And then this thing you see being poured in a one liter container is what we call thinner. It is meant to dilute the paint. I hope you noticed the graffiti that is looking so interesting and naturally occurring on this table and even on the doors. Uh, this happens as a result of spillages and also when they, they are done serving the customer, usually these people wipe their hands on the door. And this comes out as though someone was intentionally doing graffiti. <laughs> I get to the site and get to work immediately. This metallic frame had been eaten up by rust and now I had to use the sandpaper on it before I start the job of applying the paint. Now that I'm done with the sandpaper part, then it is time to mix the paint with the thinner so that I get ready to start painting the grill. So I'm doing this so that I make sure all the paint is evenly mixed because most of the time you find that thick paint settles at the bottom of the container and then very light or dilute paint uh, remains at the, bo at the top. So this has to be done really nicely in a uniform manner and then when I'm done with that I'll start dividing the paint into smaller portions and then I use thinner to dilute it up to the right consistency. Ho, 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 now look at me, look at me, look at what I'm doing. This reminds me of my grandmother. They used to do this when they serve you porridge in a gourd, you know, in a calabash. Eh? Do people still do this? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I can make a very good grandmother. And now let the paint works begin. So the project is ongoing. I've been painting this section. Uh, we started from down here and I'm moving upwards. One of my sons is helping me, he's on the other end. <laughs> so I'm 
So the intention is that uh, I move from this end moving upwards and then probably finish up the other parts going upwards tomorrow. Uh, it is not quite easy because as you can see the grills are quite close to each other but it is a mission that has to be done. So I'll just continue as I, I videotape much of what I can.
<laughs> How the day is winding down. I do not know the physiology behind milk and uh, painting. But uh, from what I'm, I'm hearing, it's advocated for. So let's do what the Romans say or do.